It's the Archivist, y'all. Exclusively interviewing Derek Liu. How y'all doing? Fly America. Yes, sir. Fly America. That's right. That's right. And who is that underdog, the infamous Derek Liu? Derek Liu is a L.A. native artist. Um, I just started rapping. I'm new to this whole thing, whole making music process. Uh, I probably just started rapping and writing my own music like eight months ago. Surprising as that is. Um, man. It's just a blessing to be working with Mark Battles and all these great artists and everything. It's just so exciting. And coming out of Los Angeles, how did you start? What motivated you to become a rapper? Well, I always kind of had like an inclination that I wanted to be famous. I wanted to use my voice for something positive and to like be able to reach out to people and, and, and have a movement and do something exactly as what Fly America is doing right now and be positive. And it just, God put all the pieces together in the puzzle, and it just fell together. And all of a sudden, I met Battles, Young One, the whole Fly America team, and they was doing something amazing already, and I was just blessed to be a part of it. And you were definitely inspired and motivated by Tupac, Kanye West, Drake, J. Cole, and some classic Motown soul. Elaborate on your upbringing on music. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely. Um... And I would have to say one of my first albums ever would be the Eminem, the Slim Shady LP. And uh, it was actually funny. My uncle bought it for me when I was like eight years old. And, you know, like he was saying some pretty graphic stuff on there. But you just like it because it's Eminem and he's flowing and he's telling vivid stories and everything. And like the cuss words was kind of kind of cool when you're younger. You know what I'm saying? To hear it like that. So that was kind of cool. And then definitely into my later years, it started to be J. Cole and Drake and Kanye with the whole just making a great song. Just a whole just music and have a message behind it. And that was just, that's just amazing to me. And then Washington driving over 17 hours. And then it begins the chance backstage to meet Mark Battles music and then taking part in Saturday School Part 3. Yeah. Oh, man. That was that was actually crazy how it happened. It was definitely it was definitely like a just meant to be sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I I was living with a friend of a friend who knew Battles before went on tour with him before when he did the Rocky Fresh Electric Highway tour. And we was living together and he's like, "Yo, you want to go to a Mark Battles concert?" And I'm like, "Fuck yeah, I want to go to a Mark Battles concert." Like I ain't never I ain't never been to a con he was my first rap concert ever. And he killed it. For my first rap concert, that was amazing. Like, that was the best one I could have gone to ever. And he, I've never seen a performer like him. That shit just inspired me. I'm like, yeah, yep, I have to do this. This is what I have to do. So I sneak backstage. He's, he's back there. The artist, five minutes before he's going on to his set, pressing shirts out, making the merchandise for everybody. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, bro, can I help you? Like, I'm not doing anything like could... could can I do that maybe and you go and kick it like other artists like don't other artists have like girls in the back room and then kicking it like hey, what, are, what are you doing man they they like they all they run everything it was crazy I've never seen a team like this before and they all efficient that's the thing so I'm like yeah I have to be a part of this and I didn't I didn't do it with the intention of like I'm gonna be a part of it I just did it out of the intention like man this shit is crazy why why are you doing all this stuff by yourself like this this shouldn't be happening and then he put on a great show. He did this hype set that's like a legendary hype set, like on all of his, all of his fans now at all of his shows. It's like this legendary hype set, and uh, I guess I got pulled out there kind of on stage and was going crazy with them. And I didn't have a Twitter at the time, and I guess on Twitter they was asking him about who the white boy was on stage with him, and I was and I I guess he was like, all right, I gotta find out about this kid then. And what did it take for you to get backstage? That's the hustle, man, because that's how I started, and I, I had to do my thing to get where I'm at. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was just, it was kind of like, I, I guess I just was a little slick talker, kind of like, oh, yeah, I'm just, because the bathroom was kind of in the back. Also, I'm like, before the show, I'm like, yeah, let me just go to the bathroom. We'll go to the bathroom real quick. And then all of a sudden, I kind of, I knew one of the people was back there that I knew, so I kind of was like, hey, what's up, man? Oh, how you cool, 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 yeah, you guys kicking it back here, started talking to him, kind of slowly just worked my way into the situation, 
And then finally, I kind of just walked up to him, built the courage up, and was like, bro, you look like you could use some help. He's like, get out of here. Let me do this. But not in like a mean way at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I work for. This is my merchandise. These are my fans. I don't know who you are. And like, I totally respect that. Like, that's the hustle right there. That's, that's what's dope. And then it begins. A 30-city tour across the U.S. Opening for Mark Battles. Here it comes. Derek Liu. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. That was a blessing, too. We went on tour. 30 cities. Um... It was just, that shit was, that was crazy. Uh, he, he let me open up for him every single city. Um, that was nuts. That was absolutely nuts. That was an experience of a lifetime, I must say. It was, I'm not going to lie. I, if I didn't say I was nervous, I'd be lying. Because I was, I was sweating every, t bubble guts, all scared before going on stage. He's like, this is what you're made to do. This is what you're supposed to do. And I'm just, bro, I'm nervous, bro, I'm nervous, but, uh, you know, every show, just like, just like an athlete, every, every performance you go out there, every game, every time you practice, every time you rehearse to get better, it becomes easier and more natural, and I'm still working at it, you could always get better, you know what I'm saying, there's always room for improvement, no one's perfect. And a handful of tracks, Magic Johnson, Blow It Out, and Hand Clap with Dizzy Wright, yeah. Can't Stand Us with French Montana, Pretty major, Fly America. Fly America, yeah, we've had some, yeah, we've definitely had some big collabs. We've been working this, we've been working this year, definitely, um, in such a short time too. I've only had the half the year to work since like probably like June is when I jump is when I was selected to come with him and be on Fly America. He's been working on these features for for a couple years now, and I mean this is this is this is a this is a huge break for everybody. It's definitely awesome. And L.A. Confidential, the mixtape, what can we expect? Man, a lot of, what could you expect? A lot of high energy, a lot of fast rapping, but then also at the same time, just me trying to, just me, this is my first project, so I'm learning about, I'm trying to f figure out my groove and my niche for my fans, you know what I'm saying? I want, I want to be able to feel them out, so I'm dropping a bunch of different tracks on there just to feel which ones get the best response. You know what I'm saying? And of course I gotta have a lot of that Cali feel and that and that Bay Area hype that get high feet type of shit. You make you wanna snap your neck type of shit. Definitely. And working with Wale, Lola Monroe, Jaron Benton, and now eighteen dates on the Canadian tour with MGK. Huge. Yeah, that's that's once again just another blessing. It's 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 uh, it's awesome. It's, I can't I can't even I can't describe it. We only two days in, but it's all it's already seemed like it's like the fans are taking a great reaction. We're getting a lot of people in Canada already already coming on strong to the Fly America movement. Uh it's it's amazing. It's definitely amazing. And other openings with King Los and Kid Inc. Anything coming up? Anything coming up? I mean, we're probably after this tour, we're gonna drop these mixtapes, then we're gonna have Battles album. And then uh, probably going probably gonna go on another tour this summer, this spring, and have a lot of guest uh, appearances with those those artists, King Los. And Battles has a mixtape with King Los, actually, a whole collab mixtape coming out this month. So, and the best tour and largest crowd you've ever rocked? Probably have to be. Probably have to be a toss up between the Kitty and back at Yum during Battles tour. He had Dizzy Wright come and guest host for him, and he headlined the whole thing, and it was like, like a thousand people, like eleven hundred people, and that was just fat. We had the whole thing packed out. It was, it was crazy, and they was all hype, and everybody just knew every word to the song, and that was actually my first show, so that was pretty. That was an amazing experience to go out there. And your best hip hop memory you've been part of or contributed to? Oh man, this whole thing. This whole Fly America movement, that's my that's my greatest memory ever. Just I remember just being being on the couch in LA thinking like, man, what am I gonna do? Working this retail job, like this ain't gonna cut it. I can't do this, like, like you know what I'm saying? I gotta figure something else out. I, like, you know, I, I, I feel like I got something here. And it just, it worked out the way it worked out. And you have anything to say to Canada? Yeah, Canada, y'all been amazing to me. Thank you very much for welcoming us with open arms. Y'all cold as shit. I'm from Cali. So, God damn, man. I'm going to come back in the summer. I'm sorry. And you got any shouts? Any shout outs? Shout out to Battles, Fly America, Young One, our manager, Q's, 
Brittany, the camera lady, uh, and the archivist, man. Thank you. And shouts to the Fly America crew. And this is the archivist, and you already know the name, y'all. Yes, sir.